<laughs> I feel hot like fire. Are you really going to transform? No, oh. he's not. Wufu, you might have a fever. Huh? What's a fever? I will explain why your body feels hot, cold, and tired. Let knowledge click. A fever means your body gets hotter than normal. Can you believe it? A fever is actually how your body protects you yes. when strange bacteria, fungi, or viruses oh. try to get in. When bad bacteria get in, your immune cells turn on defense mode and send signals to your brain. Inside your brain is a control center called the hypothalamus. When it gets the signal, the hypothalamus tells your body to heat up. The high temperature makes germs weaker or kills them. Like cooking material, you can feel cold at the same time because your body needs to balance it out. While you have a fever, your immune cells work hard to find the germs. When the germs are gone, the hypothalamus tells your body to cool down and you start feeling better. A fever isn't a sickness. It's a sign of your body protecting itself. Can you tell me what you should do when Wufu has a fever? That's wrong. You should never get the medicines without asking an adult. That's right. Tell an adult right away so he can get the right care. We got it. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Try not to cough anymore. Don't hold it, your cough, sweetie. It's okay to let it out. <coughs> I'll explain why, kid. Let knowledge click. When something bothers your throat, like dust, smoke, germs, or mucus, your brain gets the signal and tells a little flap in your throat to close. Then your chest and belly muscle push air out super fast. That helps clear out the bad stuff and keeps your lungs and throat clean. But if you hold in your cough, the dirt and germs can get stuck inside and make you see. And if you hold it too long, the trap air can even hurt parts inside your body. Remember, when you need to cough, you can cover your mouth with a tissue, then throw it in the trash. Hmm. Oh. What if I need to cough but don't have a tissue? Huh? Can you guess? What should you do if there's no tissue when you need to cough? A. Hold it in and try not to cough. B. Cough into your elbow. C. Shout so everyone knows you're about to cough and runs away. Hmm. Huh? Cough into your elbow. <laughs> we should cough into our elbows, not our bare hands. So we don't spread germs. Let's try it. <laughs> if Whoa. you keep coughing oh. for days, tell an adult so they can take you to the doctor. Yeah. running away from me. Uh, huh? uh, hey! Do you know why our breath can smell bad just like with you? Less knowledge, click! First, let's find out where bad breath comes from. Your 
mouth is a home to many microorganisms wow. and bacteria. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hmm. They help with the digestion or protect you from certain diseases. After a long day of working hard, just like us, they will look for food, which is the leftover food particle in your mouth. The bacteria will start breaking down the food particles, which then produce certain smelly gases. <laughs> there are other causes that can make your breath smell even worse. But don't worry, you can improve oh. this by wow. <laughs> brushing your teeth at least twice a day, <gasps> drinking enough water, oh. don't let your mouth get dry, oh. and remember to visit the dentist every six months. The dentist will help you check your teeth and clean them too. Why does my head hurt when I eat ice cream? Oh. Have you ever experienced this like Wufu? Let knowledge click! When you eat, the food touches the roof of your mouth. An area full of blood vessels that lead up to the brain. The cold makes those blood vessels suddenly shrink. And then they quickly expand again as your mouth warms back up. This fast change tricked the brain into thinking there's pain in your head, which is called a brain freeze. So, how can we avoid brain freeze when eating ice cream? Oh! oh. If I do this, my brain will stay warm and won't get that icy pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't help much. It's simple. When you get brain freeze, just spread your tongue against the roof of your mouth, the cold part, to warm it up. Or, hmm, you can drink a little warm water. <laughs> And remember to eat your ice cream slowly, instead of taking a big bite all at once. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.